Wood ash has been used for ages to aid in gardens and fields, but how and when do you use it? And are there any dangers? Let's begin by talking very generally about what wood ash is and how to acquire it. Then we'll move on to the science behind how it works to benefit or hinder your soil. And finally, we'll talk about how to use it to maximize your garden yields without the dangers. Wood ash is a byproduct of burning wood, so spend some time around a campfire and get some. What you want is this nice powdery white or gray stuff. This distinction may sound silly, but it's actually really important because this black stuff or charcoal is not wood ash and does not have the same value and usage as wood ash. Let's use some hardware wire on a frame to sift it out while we talk about the benefits and usage in the garden. In a general sense, wood ash is used to increase the soil's pH to make it more alkaline. If you want to understand a little more science behind the interaction of plants and the soil pH, I would highly recommend you check out this video here. But for the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that the general good range for pH of vegetables in the garden is around 6 to 7 or slightly acidic. And that pH naturally changes as plants are born and die. So why does wood ash of all things change the soil's pH? Plants are mostly carbon, and when wood is burned, that carbon that was held by the plants is joined with the surrounding oxygen to form carbon dioxide, or CO2. And the majority of that carbon is released into the atmosphere. But some of it joins with other elements to make a lot of fun things. Similarly, the majority of other elements are evaporated into the air. But alkaline minerals and earth metals such as calcium, potassium, magnesium, and sodium tend to stay behind. This is important because the newly created CO2 can join with that remaining calcium to create calcium carbonate, also more commonly known as lime. Only about 25-40% to 40 of the remaining wood ash volume is calcium carbonate, so you can't use the wood ash to replace lime in a one-to-one -one fashion for volume, but the weight is roughly pound for pound the same. So if you can figure out how many pounds of lime you'll need, you'll know how much wood ash you'll need. So if wood ash in volume is only about 25-40% to 40 calcium carbonate, what is the remaining 60 to 75 percent of that volume? As I've said before, there are amounts of potassium, magnesium, and sodium left over, as well as trace amounts of copper, zinc, lead, and a few other things. Of the nutrients in wood ash, potassium can join with the surrounding oxygen to create K2O, or more commonly known, potash. The percentage of potash in wood can be high as 9% of the weight in woods like oak and a few other hardwoods, but it usually rests at around less than 1-2%. to That being said, if you want to extract potash from your wood ash so you don't alter your soil's pH every time you want to use it, check out this video here. So now that we know that wood ash is basically lime and some other minerals, we know that if you follow the rules laid out in my other videos talking about soil pH and plant interaction, you can apply that nearly perfectly every time. But before you do that, here are some special exceptions you need to be aware of. While wood ash does have small amounts of certain other beneficial elements like potash, it should never ever be used as a fertilizer. Wood ash should only ever be used as a pH correction tool. Furthermore, wood ash has a much finer particle size than the lime that you buy in garden centers, so it's much more soluble and is immediately available to plants. It's very important to start with a smaller dosage of wood ash and apply it throughout a few months so that you don't accidentally overcorrect your soil. And even more important is that you wear proper protective equipment while applying, like a good airway filter and some goggles to protect your eyes. Wood ash is quite caustic and can cause a lot of problems down the road. And finally, never use briquette ashes or bought charcoal and coal ashes in your garden. They often contain a lot of really nasty chemicals that can hurt you and your plants. This is a pretty dense video, so let me quickly sum it all up. Wood ash is used as a lime substitute to raise soil pH, making it less acidic and more alkaline. If you need to correct your soil pH with lime, you can swap it pound for pound with wood ash to be just a little bit more self-sufficient. Never use wood ash as a fertilizer. Always wear protective equipment while using wood ash. Never use coal or briquette ashes. And make sure to slowly apply it so you don't burn your plants for a season. I hope that that was the perfect amount of information. But as always, if you have questions in regards to wood ash or anything else, please leave a comment below. This video was a lot of fun to make, so I hope you had fun watching. I'm gonna go stoke the fire, so until I see you in the field, happy hunting.